Hello, my name is Nancy Foldvery Schaefer, and I'm director of the Cleveland Clinic Sleep Medicine Program. I'd like to welcome you to Obstructive Sleep Apnea, a Cleveland Clinic state-of-the-art review. Over 70 million Americans have sleep disturbances, and one in three have obstructive sleep apnea. An estimated 85 to 90 percent of people with obstructive sleep apnea don't know they have it. Obstructive sleep apnea is a potentially serious medical disorder impacting heart health, brain health and metabolism, and affecting occupational and academic achievement, public safety, and even mortality. This five-part program will discuss basics around obstructive sleep apnea diagnosis, sleep apnea in the heart, sleep apnea and metabolic cognitive and psychosocial outcomes, positive airway pressure therapy, and treatment alternatives to PAP therapy. Part one, obstructive sleep apnea basics, is presented by Dr. Jessica Wenzel Rundo. This part will include a discussion of the epidemiology and clinical presentation of obstructive sleep apnea, screening instruments, and finally, diagnostic testing, including indications for in-laboratory polysomnography and home sleep apnea testing. Part two, entitled Sleep Apnea and the Heart, is presented by Dr. Rena Mera. This part will overview the physiology of sleep heart interactions, discuss the association of obstructive sleep apnea and cardiovascular health, and introduce central sleep apnea and two newer therapies for it, including adaptive servo ventilation and phrenic nerve stimulation. In part three, Dr. Harneet Walia will present Beyond Heart Health, Consequences of Obstructive Sleep Apnea. This part will include the adverse consequences of sleep apnea on quality of life, drowsy driving, depression, metabolic diseases, and cognitive impairment. Parts four and five will review treatments for obstructive sleep apnea. In part four, Dr. Colleen Lance will discuss positive airway pressure therapy for obstructive sleep apnea. Here, we will discuss the efficacy of PAP therapy based on large randomized trials and observational studies, alternative modes to continuous positive airway pressure therapy, troubleshooting PAP to optimize adherence, and finally, innovative strategies for the management of obstructive sleep apnea in population health. Finally, Dr. Tina Waters will present treatment of obstructive sleep apnea, alternatives to PAP therapy. This will include a discussion of positional therapy and other conservative therapies for obstructive sleep apnea, expiratory positive airway pressure therapy, oral appliance therapy, upper airway surgery, and hypoglossal nerve stimulation. This CME series is intended for healthcare professionals from all backgrounds and at all levels who are interested in improving patient outcomes through an attention to sleep. I hope you enjoy the series.